This is part two of Fleet Babylon. Okay, and I was I stopped at Jeremiah 51 and 10. Uh, let me see. Let me. I'm gonna read that again for you who have brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of Yahuwah Elohim. So we are being invited to declare, to come and declare in Zion. Who would not want to declare the righteousness of the Father in Zion? That should be our ultimate wish. I mean, this is what are you in? What are we in it for? What are we doing? If you really love Him, you will obey His voice. One thing that people do, they they believe the law, but they fail to believe and listen and do what he says, what he said in the prophets. And if you do that, that's that's a grave mistake that you are making, and you need you need you really need to think twice about it. Um, that's what Deuteronomy 8 and 3 says. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Father. The words that came from the prophets, it was not the prophets' words. It was the Father's words. That's why they always start with, Thus says Yahuwah Elohim, hearken unto his voice. It, it's, we have to hearken unto these, these prophets. And these are our prophets. There are no other prophets we have in the earth today. Why? Because we don't need them. Yahushua told us that we had our the law and our prophets. This is what we should live by. One note I should have mentioned in the last video. When we're talking about live by thyself, save your life. Something Yahushua said in Luke uh, 9 and 24. He says... Whoever save his life will lose his life, and whoever lose it will save it. What is he talking about? Now, he's talking about different scenarios. This that passage of scripture can happen on different occasions. But right now, I want to talk to you about it on this occasion, fleeing Babylon. Okay. To remain in Babylon, that's you saving your life. And here's how you save your life if you remained in Babylon. You keep your house, you keep your job, you keep your cars, you keep all of your worldly possessions. You get to keep them. That's your life. Now, if you keep all of that and you don't flee, you're going to lose your life. You will be cut off in Babylon in her iniquity. But now if you give up your life, your possession, and you do what the word is saying here, and that's flee, then you will save your life. So this is this is what he's talking about. If you ever read that scripture and you never knew what he was talking about, this is what he was talking about beyond a shadow of a doubt. Okay. Going down, I'm going to pick up forty five or forty five in Jeremiah fifty one. I'm going to read forty five and forty six. It says, My people go out of the midst of her and deliver every man his soul from the fierce anger. Of Yahuwah. Here we go again. Go ye out of her midst and deliver every man his soul from the fierce anger of Yahuwah. So you actually you are delivering yourself from his anger. And one of the things that people don't understand and have they, they just don't have a deep understanding of the beginning of wisdom. And the beginning of wisdom is to fear him. And this is the problem. Most people do not fear him whatsoever. Because when you do what you want to do, and you don't listen to what he say do, whether it's through the law or the prophet, you don't fear him. You actually do not fear him. 
and you need to get a deep understanding of what that means to fear him verse 46 lest your heart faint and ye fear of the rumor that shall be heard in the land a rumor shall uh, both come one year and after that another year rumor shall come and violence in the land ruler against ruler okay so right here we're getting a warning that you're going to hear rumors and the rumors going to sound something like this uh you know people talking about the flea babylon stuff them people don't know what they're talking about they don't they do not know that that did not mean it doesn't mean come out of america he's going to deliver us uh, uh through this you don't need to, to go nowhere and um here's the other rumor you you can't come out of babylon babylon is all over the earth so how can you flee babylon what that's the that's kind of one of the most funniest rumors that i've really heard because that's a person that was born in babylon and never ever left babylon themselves never left babylon never been outside of america uh what's another one? Oh, the violence and violence in the land ruler against ruler you so in the holy land there's a lot of violence and you know this everybody knows you turn on the tv and you see violence all across what they call the middle east so here's here it here it is we're given an opportunity to flee in what looks like to be going right in the midst of violence but what people don't tell you is if he's with you and he told you to do it then he is going to protect you you see lot was told the same thing. lot was told to flee to the mountains and lot knew what was in those mountains he knew that there were danger there and if he had a listen he would have been fine because he's not going to tell you to flee somewhere and something happened to you but again you know lot wanted to flee to the smallest city i talked about that in the, the previous video and if you haven't seen it you, you, you need to you need to see that video also and so these are and we got ruler against ruler so this is where the wars are going on the wars are going on in the middle east but those are those rumors all the things you got to fight through those rumors you're going to have to really go into prayer you're going to have to go back over all of these scriptures that you are being presented today whenever you listen to this video you need to go back over all these scriptures go into the hebrew words and see can you find this spiritual coming out and not physical I'm going to go on. Let's see. Okay. Now, Marie. Let's see. That go to 50. All right. Here we go. 50. I'm going to read. Still in Jeremiah 51. And I'm going to read 50 and 51. Okay. Now, this is the last one. You, you, you always kind of. You want to say the best for last. Watch this. Ye that have escaped the sword, go away. Stand not still. Remember Yahuwah afar off and let Jerusalem come into your mind. So here we're saying, he's saying, you that escaped the sword, he's telling you to go away. Don't stand still. If someone telling you to stand still, who are you going to listen to? The father is saying, do not stand still and remember Yahuwah afar off and let Jerusalem come to your mind. You're going to have to let Jerusalem come to your mind and let that be your, your focus and your drive. It will help. I know it, it helped me when I, when I first got this, I, I kept Jerusalem on my mind and even to this day, it's still on my, my mind. There's, there's another, uh, point I want to make mention here do not stand still I've heard someone say uh, when it comes to fleeing Babylon he says stand still and see the salvation of the most high okay he was talking about 
before the children of Israel being led by Moses before they crossed the sea he was he told them to stand still and see the salvation now what that meant they stood still they saw the water part and then what did they do they proceeded to go on they didn't stand still and stay there they proceeded and they went across the sea and so you can't tell someone stand still in Babylon and just do, don't go anywhere. Just just stand still. Do nothing. And verse 51. We are confounded. Because we've heard a reproach. Shame have covered our faces. For strangers are coming to the sanctuary of Yahuwah's house. So when we woke up. And we, he woke us up by the way. And he led us. He taught us. Uh, light appeared to us his law he gave us his laws statutes and commandments again and we started following them and we realized the people in the land were strangers so shame <laughs> shame we covered our faces with shame and we that's when we realized okay we got strangers in the land strangers have come into the, the house of Yahuwah's house and we was confounded it, it confounded us Last point. This is information that's in the Bible. It's all this is this is nothing coming from me. All I did is went over the scripture, broke down the words. I uh, don't I would never lead someone astray. I would never tell someone to do something I wouldn't do myself. Did I come out of Babylon? Yes, I did. And will never go back I will never go back I will never come back to Babylon why that's that's it's done and over with so here's if if you take heed to this you need to go and get your passport and make your plans you don't wait you don't stand still you do what the words say do and he gets all the glory and all the praise for it now, if you don't, it's fine. You don't have to take heed to his word. You won't be the first and you won't be the last. His word go unbeknownst to many. It falls on deaf ears. People make up all kind of excuses. It's not saying this. It's not saying that. But ultimately, it comes down to each and every one of you. It's, it's, it's an individual choice that you have to make. Don't let no one else make it for you. This is something you have to make up your, in your mind. It's a big step. It's a really big step to take. You, you will be charting on grounds you may not have ever charted on. I know for me I was, I, but I trusted in him. And I didn't have anyone to lean and depend on but him. You know, I realized that uh, we have no shepherds. And the fact that he is our shepherd. So I took heed to his word and I did what he said to do. And I hope, it's my, uh, my hope and pray that if only one person gets this, then, you know, all praise to the Most High. He gets, he gets the praise. He gets the praise. I didn't write this. I didn't put this I didn't put this in there. I wish there was another way. The pre trib rapture sounds great. I was in love with the pre trib rapture. But unfortunately, there would not be no rapture, period. You can cancel that. That's just another false teaching that we've received. Um take to heart what I say. Uh, if, if there's any questions, drop me a comment below. I try to answer your questions to the best of my ability. I can I can uh, tell you things that you don't you, you may not know just to help you out. But again, you follow the dictates. You, you, you listen to him. Follow him. Have his heartbeat and follow him. Shalom.